This is all your fault. My fault? If you'd have listened to me, we'd probably be dead. Which would actually be better than this. Moral of the story, always listen to me. That is not the moral of the story. Calm down, Smith. I've got an ace up my sleeve. What? How? The man tasked to investigate this little incident. Little incident? Two people are dead because- Smith! As I was saying, the investigator is an old friend of mine. How do you know him? Well, I won't go into details, but let's just say I had a three-way with him and his wife. Ah! Oh, you don't beat around the bush, do you? Ha! <laughs> his wife said the exact same thing. Ah! Oh. Any minute now, a man called Stephen Jones will come through that door and... <laughs> and just who the bloody hell are you? I am Agent Chris Jackson. I need to know exactly how, during a routine flight between JFK and London, five people got second degree burns, a sky marshal was held at gunpoint, and two flight attendants were beheaded. It's all his fault. Shut up, Smith. The adults are talking. Agent Jackson. Chris. Can I call you Chris? No. Agent Jackson. I can explain everything. It all started... All my troubles seem so far away. Now I'm heading back to them. What do you mean? I have to spend time with my son this weekend. All he wants is my love and attention. Ah, oh, that sounds nice. Why couldn't I get a normal kid? Who just wants an Xbox and to be left alone? Ah. <sighs> so, what's waiting for you back in Blighty? My bedroom in my mum's house in Slough. My pet cat and the members of the East Berkshire Dungeons and Dragons Society. God, that sounds awful. Hey! I thought millennials' lives were all holiday selfies and YOLOs. Don't believe the Instagram posts. Most millennials hate their lives. Really? Why? God, where to start? Brexit? Climate change? The fact that no one can afford a house? Uh-huh. You can't even talk to anyone about it. Everyone is so distracted by their phones. Uh-huh. Hey, that should be on aeroplane mode. What would happen if something went wrong? I'd fly the plane instead of autopilot. That is not the point. Then what is the point? You are putting the lives of the passengers and me at risk with your- Fine, I'm putting it away. Typical. Why is everything I want out of reach? Captain. Why are we climbing? Cause I can't reach my beer. So just stand up and grab it! Ha! Huh. Stand up and grab it. I have a better solution. <coughs> you are unbelievable! Thanks. That was not a compliment. Smith, you need to chill out. Do us both a favour and grab yourself a beer from my bag back there. I am not having a beer. Well, at least get me one. No. No? I am the captain and you are the first officer. It is your job to do as I say. Getting you beers, which you're not even supposed to be drinking, is not part of my job description. Fine. Can a flight attendant please come to the cockpit immediately? This is an emergency. Nice one! They're probably panicking back there now. Don't be so melodramatic. They're fine. <coughs> so, what exactly is this Dungeons and Dragons thing anyway? Dungeons and Dragons is a fantasy-based role-playing game. Smith, you dark horse. What? Girls who like roleplay are always the craziest. Uh, actually, my party is only men. So, you and a bunch of men sit around in a basement pretending to be elves while you wank each other off? That is not what it is! Why is everything sexual with you? Why is nothing sexual with you? At this rate, you'll never lose your virginity. I'll have you know that I've had sex over four times. Sure, but when it's with yourself, it doesn't actually count. It was not with myself! If you're gonna scream at me, I'm gonna need another beer. So, 
Be a good boy and go fetch me. For the last time, I am not getting you a beer. Jesus Christ, I'll just do it myself. Smashed it. What was that? Call the cabin. See what's going on. Captain, there's no answer. I'm gonna check this out. Smith, you have the flight controls. Everyone, calm down. I am a sky marshal. I have the situation under control. Smith, turn on autopilot. We have a situation. What's going on? There's a man with a gun and two flight attendants with their brains blown out. What? Smith, we are under attack from a terrorist. No, I can't die. The East Berkshire Dungeons and Dragons Society needs me. Calm down, Smith. Remember your training. What do you do during a terrorist attack? Uh, remain calm, phone it in, and above all else, do not open the cockpit door. Ah, in that case, forget your training. That's a pussy's way to die. If I'm going down, I'm going down blasting. What? What? I know what you're gonna say, Smith. With what? Well, with these babies. A flare gun! Here's the plan. You lay down some suppressing fire. Then I'll- I absolutely cannot do that! Of Course you can. Just pretend this is one of your Dungeons and Dragons games. What? This is not a flare gun. This is a fire spell that shoots out of your dick. But fire spells don't come out of your- Smith, I don't care. I just need you- Stop! The answer is no. Smith, we have to attack now while we have the element of surprise. If you think for one second that I am going to break protocol and- Fuck it, I'll do it without you. Smith, if I die. There's something you have to tell my ex-wife. Captain, what is it? Tell my ex-wife that her sister probably has crabs. Geronimo! <laughs> don't move. You don't seem to have much flair for this terrorism thing, do you? Now, give me one reason why I shouldn't pull this trigger. Cause I'm a sky marshal, you asshole! Ah. Agent Jackson! Sir, don't you see? I did nothing! Exactly. You did nothing to stop this. You are both going down for this. No! I can't go to prison! Good. Cause you're not. In the eyes of the United States, you are both terrorists. What? You just got yourself a one-way ticket to Guantanamo Bay. No! My life is over! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you both laughing? What a performance! Bravo, Jonesy! Bravo! What the hell is going on? Calm down, Smith. The only place you're going is the nearest bar, with me and Jonesy here. What? That is not Agent Jackson. That is my old friend Jonesy. I set this whole thing up when I saw him outside. What? Why did you put me through all that? To teach you a lesson. What possible lesson could that be? Next time I tell you to get me a beer, get me a goddamn beer. <coughs> ah!